When the American people saw what Nancy, Steve, and McConnell were doing with their checks, they're going to definitely want to capture this action on camera. But before we start, Please make sure to subscribe to the Stimulus Check Update Lighthouse Alert Community and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. What's going on, everybody? This is Pure Excellence here, back with another video. So we're going to do uh, this stimulus update. Please hit the like button, you know, so that the YouTube algorithm will show us some love and therefore allow us to bring this content to you and keep you informed with what's going on with the stimulus check and all the information that surrounds it. You know, go ahead and hit that bell as well as uh, let one of your friends know that may be interested in keeping up with what's happening with the state of affairs in our country. You know, this will surely be the update channel of their choice as well as you. All right. So what's occurred? What's transpired today? You know, as far as the meeting, um, the phone call, you know, that they had, uh, um, you know, hopefully the White House chief of pers chief of staff, you know, Mark Meadows joins us now. Um, you know, where do the settlements uh, sit with you? You know, I just, you know, you know, OK, so we were informed, you know, Tuesday that there was a hard deadline for Wednesday. And now, you know, depending on when you listen to this, you know, we're in Friday and we were told an offer would have been done by this weekend. So where are we actually at this very time? You know, where are we? You know, if you're getting value, you know, strike that like button. But, you know, if you subscribe, you know what I'm saying, I to this Nick, to this uh, community, you know, I invite you back. You know, I value you. Um, but basically, you know, Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi stated that they're making progress. Again, these are the words that's in the headline. They're making progress on their stimulus settlements. Um, they state that having the hard deadline for Wednesday, you know, actually sped up the negotiations a lot. But, you know, basically, you know, it's just more of the same promises broken um, that they've been promising way back in July this year. Um, you know, they just sitting in a room, you know, passing the paper back and forth, and, you know, uh, playing Yahtzee and playing, you know, was, you know, sink, did you sink my battleship? You know, they're doing that for, you know, 30 minutes and then they come back out and say, hey, we made great progress. You know, it's, it's not about whether or not y'all get along, y'all play together like little kids, but it's about country, you know, millions of Americans struggling to pay their bills you know you know but here they are they play battleship for 30 minutes in a room and then they walk out and state we've actually made great progress in our relationship you know steve and and uh steve and nancy you know but simply to find out about you know stimulus checks um to become aware you know she offered congress and the white house a deadline uh to the end of wednesday and mitch mcconnell in the senate pushed to do standalone bills for unemployed individuals organizations and schools and you know <sighs> And so I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. So there's no clickbait here. You know, I'm not going to be extremely excited about, you know, the fact that that deadline wasn't even on it. But, you know, I was thinking that this could be the week that we actually get something done. You know, President Trump was on board to get something done. The Senate was on board. But, you know, don't desire a substantial stimulus package. And the Democrats are certainly on board. And then, you know, have all these high demands, according to the Republican politician, you know, counter sources, and then don't deliver. You know, obviously, each party continues to blame the other. You know, Mitch McConnell, he wrote a letter to his party and Nancy Pelosi, you know, composed her letter to her party. And now they do an awful lot of writing, but it seems like nobody writing the bill, right? You know, they do an awful lot of writing when shouldn't they just be writing the bill and getting this thing done? You know, uh, you know, and if President Trump actually stated in several interviews that the White House is prepared to do a deal, that he will do whatever it takes to get enough Republicans on board to get an offer passed, then, you know, you want to take him serious. But it's sort of like the same promise that's been made, you know, ever since July. You know, now, remember, though, in the Senate that it's managed by Republicans. You know, they don't have to have every Republican on board in order to get an offer. They just require to have enough. And so President Trump states that he might whip those votes together in order 
order to get this to pass. You know, he also directly puts the blame on Nancy Pelosi for playing political, uh, you know, battleship, sink my battleship and political video games, you know, with people's lives rather than getting this deal done. You know, he blames her as a, the staller. But, you know, the thing is, a lot of people are saying you're the president, though. So now I'm just uh, telling you what is being stated in the news. You know, I'm not offering any sort of viewpoint here, you know, but Pelosi is saying, no, it's the white, the White House and it's the Republicans. So, again, it's just blame, 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 blame that we have actually been seeing for several months now. Now, Pelosi has stated that we have to get this bill done this week and they gave the deadline for Wednesday and they swear that this has actually sped things up, you know, but we, we just gonna have to see, you know, probably what happens this weekend. Cause remember he signed a president Trump that is signed a executive order for LWA over the weekend. Now, Nancy Pelosi, you know, she took as of right now, from what I've actually looked into, she has not assembled any kind of offer where it comes off of that $2.2 trillion number, you know, so she's stating here's the deadline in order to get this done, but I'm not going to budge on the dollar quantity. She's stating this isn't about cash and it has to do with the language and the agreement. But, you know, have they even started writing the bill? But, well, you know, it's undoubtedly about cash. You, you see what I'm saying? I mean, other than that, a deal all this time you went without making a deal. You know, uh, so much money could have been received by the American people. However, you know, it's undoubtedly about cash. But, however, there could be some aspects of the language, right? Now, this is what was frightening to me is Nancy Pelosi said that if we do not get an offer done by Tuesday night, that nothing was going to happen prior to the prior to the election. You know, and here we are. Uh, Thursday night was a debate and I have actually sort of understood this, you know, to be some sort of, you know, putting the fire up under everybody to actually try to work out something. But I think people in our community right here, this closed community where we are actually looking and watching, waiting, we're going to sound the alarm when the stimulus check happens and the subsequent ones after that. But we in this community have understood this as just games, you know, like games just being you. It's put it's the stimulus check is uh, used as a political weapon, you know, the important things that she stated that, you know, had me kind of frightened at, at a moment was that if they don't get the offer done, then basically there was not going to be any offer at all up until February of 2021. Now their paychecks haven't stopped, but she would actually put American people through that to actually wait till 2021. Now, I'm not sure that Nancy's aware of the truth that Congress and the House of Representatives still operate in the month of November. You know, they still operate in the month of December. You know, a brand new Congress will be available in in that could work in January and also in February. So what was all that about? So, you know, I do not know why she is stating that if she didn't, if she didn't get a deal by Tuesday night, it's likely that nobody, you know, will get money till February. You know, what was all that about? Was that just a strategic use of words to try to put fire up under everybody? You know, what what's happening right now? So I'm unsure of this, you know, if it's a threat or a decoy or simply really strong language. However, in either case, I just want to let my internet closed community know and understand, you know, what she has stated. You know, now the the counter that President Trump stated, you know, in response to that, that if he's reelected, then he will get stimulus done right. You know, he, you know, the kind of language is used like he doesn't have to actually rely on any votes at all. He's just going to get it done right now. So that sounds enticing, right? But, you know, he's saying that he's going to do it right now, right after the election, right after you get me in, I'm going to get stimulus done. And you won't have to wait up until next year when she's saying exactly the opposite. Now, I will, he's saying that he will get the offer done regardless to who agrees with it. So the two parties are kind of throwing their cards on the table, right? Saying that we want Want, we both want to get the deal done. But after the election, it might move quick or slow, depending on who is chosen, right? So anyhow, this is the information that's coming out. You know, Mitch McConnell stated that on Tuesday or Wednesday, that they will be talking about these standalone, quote unquote, talking about these standalone expenses for unemployment, schools, and PPP financing for small business together with some screening and a few other small expenses. But that will be, you know, that, that was supposed to have happened this Tuesday and this Wednesday. But the offer for $2.2 trillion that Nancy is holding firm on or $1.8 trillion, which the Republicans are offering, or if they can come to some sort of agreement or contract, Nancy Pelosi is saying her cutoff date was this Tuesday, you know, and she's not discussing it any longer after that. So, you know, these kind of political games, um, I know you guys out there, you're probably just wondering, you know, when am I going to get my money back that I put into the system for all these years that I've worked, or all these years that I ran my business and I paid my taxes and I've done everything right. You just want to know where your money is because they're not actually giving you anything. They shouldn't have to, they shouldn't have to agree
receipt to give you what they've extracted from you automatically and lived off of automatically for all these years. So this is the this is a type of where we at. Um, each party is putting out their due dates and their focuses, and therefore um, I just wanted to come on here and you know I didn't want to go you know uh, another ninety six hours for the weekend you know or whatever and without giving you an update you know due to the fact that I feel you know I feel in my bones that you know particularly this channel need to know and want to know what's happening with their money you know what i'm saying um so as i know more and learn more you know i'll share more and uh just wanted to let you know that if you're in this community and you're listening just know that you're a winner regardless of what the, the kind of chips the country our so-called leaders are you know bargaining with just know that you're still a winner you're still gonna win when the final hand is dealt all right so i'll share more when i know more otherwise i'll see you in the next video